If you've ever had a sore throat and wondered if you need to go to the doctor for it, then this is the video for you. I'm going to teach you how to recognize the symptoms of strep throat, when you need to be seen, and when it's okay to stay home. Welcome to Family Med, your medical home for practical and accurate information to help your family make healthy decisions. If you're new here, let me introduce myself. I'm Dr. Eric Richardson, and my passion is helping you cut through all the health information clutter on the internet, as well as giving you the knowledge that you need to live a healthier life. So as I said in the intro, today we're going to help you learn about strep throat, what it is, how to recognize it, and when it's important that you go to the doctor. Strep throat is a fairly common, and chances are that you or one of your kids have had it. The chances are even greater that you've gone to the doctor thinking that you might have strep throat, only to be sent home, feeling like you wasted your time because your doctor told you that it was just a virus and there was nothing they could do about it. So hopefully after watching this video, you'll be able to be a little more informed on when it's important to go in and when you can try treating it at home and see if it'll go away on its own. So first of all, let's establish a little background on strep throat, what it is and why we care about treating it. Strep throat is an infection that is caused by a bacteria called group A strep. It's a bacteria that lives in the nose and the throat and can easily spread to other people. It is usually spread by either breathing in the bacteria after somebody has coughed or sneezed, or touching or eating or drinking from something that has also been exposed. So why do we care about treating it? Well, first of all, and most obvious, is because it hurts and you're miserable, and treating it can help shorten the illness. We also already talked about it being contagious, so we try to treat it to help prevent the spreading of it to others. But all these are just bonus benefits. The biggest reason why you need to treat strep is to prevent complications that can come about because of it. These are things such as a tonsillar abscess. This is when you form a pocket of infection behind the tonsil that can make you pretty sick. We also treat it to prevent developing a more rare condition affecting the kidneys called post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis. This is a condition that is caused by the body's inflammatory response to the bacteria that then causes damage to the kidneys. We're also treating it to prevent something called rheumatic fever. This is a condition that is also an inflammatory response to the body fighting off the bacteria, but this can lead to, among other things, damage to the heart and the heart valves. These can cause some serious health problems that are really important to try and prevent. The reason I'm starting with the discussion of these complications is to help you understand the need to get strep properly treated and not ignore it if you have symptoms that are more consistent with strep. So at this point, you may just be more inclined just to run to the doctor every time your throat hurts just in case. Well, don't hop in the car yet because there are some common symptoms that I'm going to go over with you that will help you make a better decision of when you should go in and be seen and when you can wait. So let's talk about some of the symptoms that would make it more likely to have strep throat. Strep will oftentimes present with symptoms such as a sore throat that comes on fairly quickly, pain when swallowing, fever, red and swollen tonsils, well sometimes you get white patches or streaks of pus in the back. You can get tiny red spots on the roof of your mouth, swollen lymph nodes in the front of your neck. Now other symptoms, they can include things such as a headache, stomach pain, nausea, Sometimes with strep throat, you can also have a rash known as scarlet fever. So those are the symptoms that you're more likely to have if you have strep. You don't need to have all of them for certain, but they are the most common ones to look for. Now, what I'm going to go over now is key to helping you distinguish when it's more likely that you have strep and when it's more likely that it's being caused by a virus. If you have a sore throat and you also have symptoms such as cough, congestion, runny nose, hoarseness, conjunctivitis, or what most call pink eye, then it's more likely to be caused by a virus, and there isn't going to be much treatment that your doctor is going to do or be able to offer you to get rid of it for you. If you have any of these symptoms, then it's almost certain that you are not going to have strep. So what are you supposed to do with this information? Well, quite simply, if you find yourself with a sore throat and you have a fever, white stuff on your throat, and tender painful lymph nodes on your neck, and you don't have a cough or congestion or other symptoms like that, then you need to get to your doctor because chances are that you have strep. You're more likely to require treatment from your doctor with an antibiotic to prevent the complications that we talked about before. It's that simple. On the flip side, if you have a bad sore throat, but you're coughing and congested, then it's almost certain a virus 
and you can treat it like you would a normal cold. Most importantly, you're more likely to not need to go into the scene right away. Now I focus mostly on strep versus a cold virus type symptoms because these are the most uncommon. However, there are other reasons that you would want to be seen when it comes to a sore throat. These would be if you have things such as a sore throat that is severe or lasts longer than a week, difficulty swallowing, difficulty breathing, difficulty opening your mouth, joint pain or associated with a sore throat, severe earache, rash, fever higher than, higher than 101, blood in your saliva or phlegm, or frequently reoccurring sore throats, a lump in your neck, maybe even some hoarseness lasting more than two weeks, as well as swelling in your neck or face. If you notice any of these, then get into your doctor and have them take a look at it. Now all these recommendations are broad recommendations and may not apply to your specific case, so make sure if you have doubts or questions to talk to your own doctor and get their advice. But in the majority of times, if you follow these simple steps, you can avoid unnecessary trips to the doctor's office. Antibiotics are inappropriate for the majority of sore throats. However, when it comes to strep, the quickest and most proven treatment that helps you avoid complications is being treated by an antibiotic. So, if you're having symptoms that are more likely strep, then get in and get tested. It is possible that you can clear it on your own, but you're putting yourself at risk, so it's better that you do so under the care and recommendations of a doctor. If it turns out that you don't have strep, click right here on this video to learn about some steps that you can do at home to treat your sore throat. And click right here to learn some things that you can do to prevent getting sick in the first place. So until next time, this is Family Med with Dr. Richardson. And remember, don't forget to take care of your body, because it's the only one you have.